Hi guys. I know I said in the last video that you probably wouldn't see this particular motor and pulley system in operation again. Um, because I said in that video that I'd ordered a, a hub motor for the back wheel. Unfortunately, the hub motor I ordered was the wrong one. So that's in the process of being resold on eBay again. And I'm now on the outlook for another hub motor, one that actually will fit this bike. Um, anyway, that's a different story. If you look closely though, you will see I have done something. If you look there, there's a pulley. And that pulley holds the belt a little bit tighter than it was before. And that makes a big difference. There's no squealing anymore and no slipping of the the belt up here on the, the motor pulley. So, what I'm going to do now is take you out for a wee spin. You're currently strapped onto my helmet, so I'll take you out for a wee spin. Uh, when we get back, we'll take you through some of the questions and answers, uh, the, so all of the questions that nobody's been asking. So, we'll do that and uh, we'll see you in a bit. After approximately three miles, mostly flat out, but uh, helping the, the motor as well by pedaling to some degree. Now, I would say the motor is fairly hot. The controller is a little bit hot. I wouldn't say it's roasting. Batteries are cold. That's good. So, yeah, it works. It's not ideal. It weighs a ton. Uh, it's hard to pedal when the when the motor's not going because of this uh, belt pulley system, and the amount of drag is on it. A um, couple of things that uh, occurred to me that you might be interested in. Uh, firstly, this is the original motor. You know, cut my hand somewhere there. This is the original motor, which I uh, started out with at the, the beginning of this series. Um, this motor was originally, I couldn't figure out how to wire it in Delta and make it work. And now I have got it working. And the way I've done that is, you can see there, there's three coils come out here and three coils come out here. Now the way this works is this coil 
and this one are linked. The middle one, the two middle ones are linked, and the two outside ones are linked. So that's linked, linked internally in the uh, in the the alternator or what is now a motor. So they're linked inside there, and to wire it in star, you would link all three of these ones here, or all three of these, doesn't matter which. You would link all of those, twist them all together, and that would give you three. The other three coils are three cables, which would be the motor, which would give you the star mode. To wire it in delta, I've taken the middle one from here, wired it the outside one here. Um, this one, which is the middle one of this side, is wired to the outside of this side, and then these two inside ones. Make sure you can see that these two inside ones are all wired together. So that's how you wire it in Delta, and it's working. It works very well. Um, probably gives a bit more speed in Delta, maybe a bit less torque, but plenty of torque for what I need it for. So that's how that's wired, um, and I managed. I don't know how I couldn't get it working in the first place, but now it is working and it's going well. Uh, other questions? Um, yeah, what happened to the tooth pulley? It didn't happen. I would have to make a tooth pulley down here and link the two and to be honest with you uh, I had to weld the other pulley and my welding wasn't that great so it was um, it ended up being a bit wobbly. Another issue with this setup is I at one stage was doing some testing, just like I am now, and did that. And unfortunately, some of these books hit the the, uh, the mounting stand, and two of these books snapped off. So they will need to be replaced. And to replace those books, will require taking the whole thing apart. And to be honest. If I have to take this whole thing apart, it's not going back together again this way because there's too many compromises. It's too ugly, it's too heavy, and with certainly with the current batteries anyway, it doesn't go very far. Um, I've just ridden three miles. Like I say, much of it flat out, but not all of it. I'm going to disconnect this. Yeah, I never did get those XT90. Uh, connected from the Chinese supplier. So disconnect these, but they're coming. Disconnect that. And I'm going to get my multimeter and put it on there if I can find it. Uh, we'll come back to that. Put the multimeter on there and see what the voltage is. But it should be. Anytime I've done this before, the the voltage on the battery has gone down to about 19 volts which is pretty good as correct for the um, for storage purposes so that's not too bad if I just spotted the multimeter forgive being carried around like this like I say you're still strapped to my helmet so there is multimeter in volts and I'll just pop that Pop that in there. I'm trying to do this one hand, it isn't easy. Not sure what you can see now, but right. Okay, that's it in. And there's the volts 18.9. So that's pretty close to what you would normally store your battery at. So that's okay, the two batteries will be sitting about the same voltage because they were both charged uh, hang on. They were both charged together or at, charged at the same time There you go, 18.92 That's good So about 3 miles is about as far as you would want to take this with the current setup which isn't really far enough. 
So we need something a bit more efficient, a whole lot lighter, and uh, yeah, if I think of anything else, come back and uh, give you a few more answers to the questions that nobody's been asking. Thanks for watching. Bye.